The song is And I Love Her by The Beatles. I'm going to show you how to play it. Let's do this. Okay, so let's do the beginning, the intro part. So the beginning is two chords. The chords are gonna be F sharp, minor seven, and E six. F minor seven played with the bar chord on the second fret, and then you're placing your ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string or the fifth string. Then the E6 chord is your regular open E chord, but then that pinky goes on the second string on the second fret. The little lead that is in the beginning of the song, it goes like this. So how you play it is, I'm using my middle finger to bar the the fourth and fifth string on the second fret. So it's gonna be played like this. I'm gonna do it very slowly. And then I'm gonna use the index finger on the first fret of the fourth string. Then the pinky on the fourth fret of the fifth string. Then that way you can play the chord. Then the same, um, the same way you're gonna play it again, but instead of that uh, fourth fret on the fifth string, the C sharp note, you're gonna be playing that B note on the, the second fret of the fifth string. Okay, and again, those chords are F sharp minor. I'm playing an F sharp minor seven, but you can play an F sharp minor. And then the E6. The reason why they call it an E6 is because the sixth note of an E scale, which is a C sharp, is being played. And it's right there in the pinky. So that's why they call it an E6 instead of just a regular E chord. And a regular E chord is like that. But when you add that pinky note, the, the sixth note of the scale is C sharp. It's the E6. Okay, so the verse goes F sharp minor to C sharp minor. Back, F sharp minor, C sharp minor. Again, F sharp minor. to A major, to B major, and back to that E6. And those are the, uh, the chords to the verse. Now the chords to the bridge, where it says, and a love like ours. It starts off with the C sharp minor, to B. Back to C sharp. We'll never to the G sharp minor. Back to C sharp. Then G sharp minor. Then to B7. Okay, if you don't know how to play the B7, you're barring the second fret, and it's the fifth string all the way down to the first. Then you're gonna put your your uh, ring finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, and then your pinky finger on the fourth fret of the second string. 
That is a B7. And usually you play uh, strings five through one. But if you are gonna bar the whole fretboard, you can add that F sharp in there and play it. It's a little fuller, it's a little more bassier, but if not, then you just play the fifth string down to the first string. Cool. So now, there's a modulation, and the modulation occur occurs on the solo. So a modulation is when the whole song moves up or down. So in this case, uh, during the solo, the modulation, it moves up a half step. So instead of it being an F sharp minor for the uh, verse and C sharp minor for the verse, it modulates a half step up. So it's going to be a G minor to a D minor. Back again. G minor to D minor. G minor. D minor to B flat. Major to C major, then to F6. So the way that you play an F6 is just like playing a regular F bar chord, but you're gonna take your, take your pinky off and place it on the third fret of the second string. And again, so an F6 means that the sixth note of an F scale which is a D is being played along with that F chord. And then the last verse of the song is it stays in that modulation. So it goes Bright stars that shine. and it just stays. So it goes from that G minor to the D minor. minor, then a B flat major, C major, then to that F6. Then that uh, solo guitar part that's played at the beginning of the song is played at the end, but it's a half step higher. So it's... Uh, so everything that you're playing in the beginning it just moves up a half step and it's that easy okay so the notes are c f e d it's that same progression you can probably play up and down the neck helps with your finger coordination. So that part is C, F, E, D, and then C, F, E, C. So the ending, the very last chord on the song, of the song, is a D. So the ending part goes do 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 so it plays a d there so the last part of the song is a g minor Now, I'll show you how to play the solo. So the solo goes off of the chords from the modulation, which is the G minor 
to the D minor. D minor. D minor. D minor. D minor. B flat. C, both major chords, and the F6. Those are the chords to the solo. Now the actual solo, I'm gonna break it down. So it goes. That's the first part. So it's G, A, B flat, E, D, F. So uh, we're gonna start off the G string. So the G open. A, or the second fret of the third string, B flat, third fret of the third string, and then E, fifth, fifth fret of the second string, D, or the third fret of the fifth string, then slide up to the F, which is the sixth fret of the second string, and then then you go so it's the G A B flat E slide down to the D okay so from the beginning up to that point right there then you play which is just like the beginning part of the solo then so you play the F D so sixth fret of the second string Third fret of the second string, the B flat, which is the third fret of the third string, A, second fret of the third string, and then the open G. So then you play, which is a C, D, then A. So it's the third fret of the 5th string, 5th fret of the 5th string, then the 7th fret of the 4th string. Then the very last part goes. It's a C, A, G, F, and then slide back up to the G. C, which is the third fret of the fifth string, then the open A, then the G, which is the third fret of the sixth string, and then the F, which is the first fret of the sixth string, then you slide back up to that G. So the full solo is. play it again and I'll play it slower.
during this song, on the verses, there's a, a higher part, a higher guitar part that's being played. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. So, when they're playing the F sharp minor to the C sharp minor, it's an F sharp minor up here, but it's arpeggiated. And that, how you do that is you have your your ring finger on the third string, 11th fret. Middle finger is the second string, 10th fret. And your index finger is the first string, 9th fret. So you're arpeggiating those notes. Then you're playing the C sharp minor chord. And I'm just barring uh, the ninth fret of the uh, first, second, and third string. And then after that, then you have your A chord in that D shape from uh, down here, but you're playing it up here. So you, I have my index finger, I have the ninth fret of the third string. I have my ring finger, which is the 10th fret of the second string, and then I have my middle finger on the ninth fret of the first string. Then you're gonna go up a whole step, and you're gonna play that B chord. Then you're gonna play an E6. And how you do that is, you're barring the ninth fret of strings four, three, two, one, and that's an E6. Another way to play E6 is by barring uh, on the fifth fret, barring all of those uh, frets, uh, barring all, all of those strings, and then putting your ring finger on the fourth string, third, second, and first. So it's like this. It's a little more fuller. This is more brighter. This is probably, probably what George does. So when it goes to the modulation, everything is gonna be up a half step. So um, the chords, the G minor and the D minor, playing up here, it's gonna be the same as it was uh, previously, but you're going to move everything up a half step. So a G minor chord arpeggiated is... So you're, you're starting on the, the 12th fret with your uh, ring finger on the 3rd string. Then you have your middle finger on the 11th fret of the 2nd string. Then you have your index finger on the 10th fret of the first string. And then to arpeggiate the D minor chord is you're barring frets 10 of the third, second, and first string. And then you're going back to the G minor, to the D minor, G minor. D minor, B flat, C, to an F6. For the B flat chord, you have the 10th fret of the third string with your index finger. Then you have the 11th fret of the second string with your ring finger. Then you have the 10th fret of the first string with your middle finger. That's a B flat chord. Then you're going to go up a whole step. That's a C chord. So you have the 12th fret of your uh, third string with your index finger. You have the 13th fret of the second string with your ring finger. You have the 12th fret of the first string with your middle finger. 
and that's the C. And then for that F6, you're barring the 10th fret of the four, three, two, one strings. F6, or you can bar it like this. And that's the song. Thanks for watching.